Well, hello everybody, Mental Fox here. Today is a very exciting day because not one, but two great games have been released. One of those games is Far Cry 4, which I've played about an hour of so far, and it has started off to be really cool looking, so make sure you check out, check out my playthrough of that. Uh, the video should already be posted by the time you see this. And speaking of this, we've got Dragon Age Inquisition, a game I'm very excited about. Played the original Dragon Age Origins and absolutely loved it. Um, spent well over 100 hours in that game and enjoyed every single one of them. Dragon Age 2, unfortunately, I only made it through the demo, and the demo did not impress me. And, if I remember correctly, uh, that might have been one of the first games that, you re that required Origin. And for whatever reason, I didn't want to get Origin. And so I never got around to playing Dragon Age 2, but here we are with Dragon Age 3, and they finally got me, they finally got me to download and install Origin. This is my first experience with it, and uh, so far so good. Uh, this game, the download was quite slow. Uh, I mean, it was a big download, but it was still slower than the downloads I get on Steam. But uh, the install was flawless. Uh-oh. Here I am talking in... Looks like we've already locked up. Huh. All right. Well, so much for that. Uh, don't know if that's probably not Origin's fault. Okay. All right. All right. Well, let's get out of here and see if we can figure out what's wrong with this thing. Okay, we're back. Uh, hopefully, that was just a strange one-time only problem. Man, I sure hope so. We don't want the game locking up when we're playing it, obviously. But anyway, my first game with Origin, Dragon Age Inquisition. Let's go and get started before this thing locks up again. Oh, uh, let's see. Good old character creation. We've got human. Human. How many we got here? Uh, we got elf. We got dwarf. Oh, okay. And we've got Kunari. The Kunari are a race of horned giants who follow a strict religious text known as the Kun. Those who have abandoned its, abandoned its principles are known as Talvashoth and often work as mercenaries. Kunari characters get a bonus plus 10% physical damage resistance. Dwarf. Dwarves are short, stocky, and most spend their entire lives underground. Those exiled to the surface are also often merchants or smugglers. Because dwarves have no connection to the Fade, they cannot be mages but receive a 25% bonus to magic defense. Elf. Elf. Elves are a historically oppressed people, distinguishable by their lithe frames and pointed ears. Though most survive in the poorest fringes of human cities, others live as nomads known as the Dalish. Elves receive a bonus of 25% to ranged defense. Interesting. Human. Humans are the most numerous and powerful race in Thetis. They are also the most divided politically and seem to thirst for conflict. Human characters receive a bonus ability point at the start of the game. Well, I am a human, so I'm going to choose human. Oh, we've got a dual wield rogue. A rogue archer, a two-handed warrior, weapon and shield, mage. Mages channel magical power into spells capable of a wide range of effects, from debilitating opponents, protecting allies, or unleashing devastating elemental energy. Those who wield magic are widely feared for their abilities in their rebellion against Chantry control has left the land in chaos. Weapon and shield. Warriors are frontline combatants, able to withstand incredible punishment in heavy armor. They are proficient in the use of two-handed weapons like mauls and greatswords, but may combine a smaller weapon with a shield for added defense. Warrior two-handed. Warriors are frontline combatants able to withstand incredible punishment in heavy armor. They are proficient in the use of two-handed weapons like mauls and greatswords, but may combine a smaller weapon with a shield for added defense. Rogue archer. Rogues are fighters who rely on speed and agility rather than heavy armor, using skill in an advantageous position on the battlefield to deal incredible damage. They may get up close and personal with daggers or strike from a distance with arrows. And rogue dual wield. Rogues are fighters who rely on speed and agility rather than heavy armor, using skill in an ad advantageous position on the battlefield to deal incredible damage. They may get up and per up close and personal with daggers or strike from a distance with arrows. Oh gosh, what shall I be? What shall I be? <laughs> a lot of it has to do with uh, who I run into first, you know? What NPCs am I going to come across first? <laughs> I have absolutely no idea. Um, You know, I'm usually just a regular old 
warrior type guy. Let's try rogue archer. That's something I wouldn't normally do. Let's try that. Yeah. Oh, goody. Okay, select difficulty. We've got uh, casual, normal, hard, and nightmare. Hmm. Oh, gosh. Um, I'm just going to do normal. Oh, now what? Human noble. As the youngest child of the Trevalian, oh, Trevalian noble house, you grew up in the free marcher city of Ostwick and have enjoyed a life of privilege. With close family ties to the Chantry and many rel relatives among the priesthood and the Templars, you were always expected to follow a similar path in service of the Maker, regardless of how you feel about the matter personally. Willing or unwilling, you were sent to the Chantry's Conclave to assist relatives who sought to make peace between the Templars and mages. It didn't go well. These are the cards I have been dealt. World State Import. Do you want to import a custom World State from Dragon Age Keep? What does that mean? I'm going to say no. Uh, default World State. I'm okay with that. Head one, head two, head three. This guy looks great. Fine. I'm okay with that. Maxwell. Maxwell? No, 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 no. Uh, he is... Um, well, I'm a rogue. So I am... Um, Foxus Mentellus. Yes, that's my name. But you could call me Fox. Ooh, what's that? What the? Is that a funny hat? What's going on? Ugh. Run, dude. Holy crap, run. Oh, come on, you'd go faster than that. Man, if I saw those things coming at me, I'd crap my pants. Come on. Come on, Foxes. Come on! Seriously, dude. That's as high as you could climb. Seriously. Oh, great. Now I got these guys to deal with. Out of the frying pan. Tell me why we shouldn't kill you now. The Conclave is destroyed. Everyone who attended is dead. Except for you. Oh. Click to select a response on the dialogue wheel or press a number to quickly select responses by position in the wheel. Hmm. I'm gonna go with, you think I did it? You think I'm responsible? Explain this. It's like I'm malfunctioning. I can't. What do you mean you can't? I don't know what that is or how it got there. You're lying. We need him, Cassandra. Well, thanks for saying that in front of me. Now I know you're not going to kill me. Some dialogues give you the opportunity to respond emotionally to situations. When these opportunities appear, special icons will highlight the emotion tied to the response. Do what now? Oh, look at that. 
Let me go. Uh, okay, that looks like kind of a angry emotion. I'm confused. Well, that's kind of like a thoughtful emotion. What now? <clears throat> what is that? It? Uh, kind of a uh, defiant emotion, maybe? All those people. <laughs> All those people. <laughs> okay, I guess I have to decide early on what kind of guy I'm going to be, you know. A am I going to be sensitive? Am I going to be kind of like this, you know, big, strong, macho man? Uh, I'm going to be kind of an intellectual. Let's do this. I am confused. I don't understand. Do you remember what happened? How this began? I remember running. Things were chasing me, and then... A woman. A woman? She reached out to me. But then... Yeah. Go to the Ford camp, Liliana. I will take him to the rift. Liliana? Wasn't there Liliana in the first Dragon Age? I don't know, as far as I know, she was also in the second one. What did happen? Come on, tell me. Will be easier to show you. Okay, fine. He doesn't look happy. rift into the world of demons that grows larger with each passing hour. It's not the only such rift, just the largest. All were caused by the explosion at the Conclave. An explosion can do that? This one did. Unless we act, the breach may grow until it swallows the world. Each time the breach expands, your mark spreads, and it is killing you. It may be the key to stopping this, but there isn't much time. Okay, if I can help, I will. Will helping save me? Do I have a choice? Investigate. I need to know more. 